One of the tools in Design for Six Sigma is the FMEA, or Failure Modes and Effects Analysis. Now there can be a Design FMEA, which is how you're designing a part, and there's also a Process FMEA. And so in this, this session, let's look at a Part Design FMEA. The idea here is to identify what your component is, uh, who's responsible for it, and what are all the potential ways that this thing could fail and then let's f figure out what we can do to mitigate that and what are some causes of failure, how are we going to design in controls, what are we going to recommend to do as recommended actions, and so on. And again, in the QI macros, we have a fill-in-the-blank template for the FMEA. And in here you'll see for the Automotive Industry Action Group, there's a whole bunch of different styles, basically, of, of these forms. Uh, there's checklists for each one of these, so if you want to find out you know, more about what's going on in there, you can. But we're going to start with just the basic design FMEA uh, version A here. And you can see here we have systems and components and models. And again, it's really designed for automotive, but you can tweak it to your own needs. And it comes in here and says, what's our item and what's our requirement? So we're going to describe that here. Potential failure mode, how could it fail? You know, could it be cracked, loosened, deformed, leaking, oxidized, something like that. And so what I've done is put in some ideas here. And so what are the effects of failure? Can people die? You know, is it just noisy or unstable? You know, and there's severities associated with this. So that goes from no effect, level one, to failure to meet safety res, res, uh, regulations, which could be hazardous without warning. Right? And then we're going to describe the cause or mechanisms of failure. How frequently can it occur? So very low to very high. And then we're going to describe the current design controls. Um, what are we going to do to prevent? What are we going to do to detect these kinds of problems? And then we're going to describe almost certain to almost impossible to detect. And that'll give us an RPN number, which is risk priority number. And so the ones with the highest risk priority numbers, and again, this is kind of a matrix diagram to help you choose things is probably the one we're going to try and figure out how to, to mitigate first and then work our way down. What are the actions and so on. And so once you get started, you just start typing and it'll start, you can just start filling in who does what. So this is body closures on a Lion uh, four-door four door wagon. And our front door could have corroded interior panels uh, that de deteriorate due to whatever. And so the severity is high. The upper edge may not fit or was too low. And then there's some, and again, we've ranked these 7, 6, and 7. That's a pretty high score, giving us a 294. So we're going to add some accelerated corrosion testing. Uh, and A Tate's in charge of that. Ingress or egress. Uh, maybe insufficient thickness specified, so on and so forth. We're going to do more testing here. And we just keep typing, right? And so it's going, you can describe everything that we're doing here. Uh, inappropriate.